Hey everyone, from Goa to Hyderabad, I have taken this uh, Ghat section, this Ghat roads. It's quite beautiful and I want to show you uh, how beautiful these hills are in this cloudy uh, uh, climate. Between the Ghats, the beauty of Maharashtra and heading back to Hyderabad from Goa. In middle of nowhere, I have seen these beautiful hills. So beautiful, uh, green, and uh, it's amazing uh, hills over there. So these are the route maps and the first is uh, Kankavli, Fonda, Savantwadi, Devgad and uh, Panaji. Since they are written in Marathi language so I am not sure what exactly the numbers of uh, kilometers they are showing here. But just a fascinating place. One should never miss this route after having a gracious time in Goa. I suggest everyone, whoever is travelling to Goa should take up this route. This is just amazing and beautiful road. I am just enjoying the climate and also... I am enjoying the climate, the weather and also these beautiful ghats. I always love uh, uh, Maharashtra's Western Ghats because Western Ghats are most beautiful and uh, they are lush green, lot of uh, greenery over here, tall trees and uh, plenty of hills and whenever we cross across the Ghat sections of uh, Western uh, Maharashtra, we always get that mesmerizing feeling that we are really enjoying the hill stations. And I don't think so for this, you need to travel uh, any other country to witness these ghats. In India itself, you can witness these beautiful uh, jungles and, and also the beautiful ghats in these jungles of uh, India, especially Maharashtra, Karnataka. The western belt uh, is mesmerizing and is very beautiful. I advise the guys who are watching my channel and especially watching this video, please do not miss this beautiful ghat section. Enjoy this video guys. And here, while crossing this ghat, I have seen Dhanyavad, like some, uh, there is a uh, Kolhapur Jilla Hadsamapta. So this is where the Kolhapur district ends. 
so i have to see what next after crossing this kolapur uh, uh, this section let me see go uh, once i go inside i'll come to know what exactly and how many ghats i have to cross more guys so i just had to stop here because i can't stop this beautiful valley of uh, hills and you could see now these are the back waters i just came to know by asking a local like what exactly this water and uh, name is or from where this water is or what so someone has told this is a back waters for a, a radhanagari dam so this radhanagari dam it's pleasant calm and if you just take a chair and sit here for some time i i am sure you will definitely feel you will feel love in love with this beautiful uh, location look at this how beautiful this spot is and there is a dam i am trying to go even to the dam also and i will show you i will try my best to show you the dam but let me see wow incredible yes This is just beautiful. There is soft water, no pollution. Except yes, there is a sound pollution because this is uh, a highway which is connected in between the hills. So there is a lot of vehicle movement here, and uh, that's the reason you could hear a uh, lot of uh, uh, vehicle movement sounds, vehicle sounds from different uh, part of the hills, because this is like connected from one hill to another hill. i guess guys you will definitely love this place do not i suggest do not miss this route when you are going to goa from hyderabad especially this is radha nagri dams backwater i hope you guys are enjoying my video and uh, i will try my best to show you the beautiful places other than this ghat section when i am interpassing through between these hills so friends ever since i have started my channel wildlife for satish i was a little restricted to wildlife and uh, but now i have explored myself and i want to open my wings even to travel uh, for some good places or hidden places or maybe you know, those places which are not accessible to many people so we intentionally took a route uh, uh, with this uh, hills passing through these hills which is like a a backdrop of a uh, radha nagri dam project and uh, this has been really amazing and uh, i haven't anticipated like while heading to goa because people call goa nothing but the beaches but i say while going to goa you can explore a lot you can stop by for some time you can uh, see these kind of a locations and actually i say this is one of the best camping spot 
one of the best camping spot but unfortunately there is a litter here and there as you know every beautiful place nowadays is being unfortunately being littered by the local lights or else this is one of a very beautiful a like, camping spot a nice family picnic spot and also a good when a friends who are cautious and who loves and respects nature and who will never accept this litter for them this is a heaven i have my friend nishant here whom i have been traveling a lot hello how are you guys doing he is nishant and he is also another uh, vlogger he has his own channel nishant what's your channel name oh uh, it's called the black tea traveler because i only wear a black t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> uh, i haven't yet launched it yet but i will be launching it very soon yes. and i hope i get the love and support from you guys thank you yeah and uh, me and nishant have been traveling uh, for a uh, very long time we have been to yeah. uti and other locations we've done some wonderful some... trips there have been great memories uh, we have been to many wildlife reserves in the past uh, we have been to uti chikmagalur kerala many places lost count in fact i wish we had vlogged in the past as well we had recorded all those things yeah they were really <laughs> wonderful memories but uh, hopefully we'll be doing many trips in the future as well so yeah. let's see So this time we planned. Uh, let's take a break from wildlife and let's go and explore some beaches and all. Yeah. So uh, we have taken uh, some routes purposefully where uh, nature and a cool and yeah, a calm place so like this. So we can know Goa people. Many thing. Many people think that Goa is just about beaches and parties and all that, but there is much more to Goa than just that. Goa, in fact, uh, is a treasure of uh, wildlife, forests, waterfalls, and many such hidden gems, uh, as you can see in the background. Uh, this technically is not in Goa; it's in Maharashtra, but very close to the border. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you are going to Goa on a road trip, uh, don't just reach Goa; stop by uh, wherever you find such scenic locations. Just soak in the beauty of the place, the serenity of the place. You will love it. It's refreshing. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. So guys, uh, please don't uh, miss this beautiful scenario and uh, these between the hills, this water and this scenic beauty and uh, the greenery all over. I wish if I had a chance, I would have camped here, but unfortunately, I could not do because this is a forest zone, and definitely, I I believe this must be a wildlife sanctuary. and uh, so and because there's a dam and the backwaters all over so if i want to do any camping i definitely need a permission here which is not at all possible so don't want to take any risk and uh, please keep watching my videos and please keep watching uh, encourage my channel as well why because wherever i travel whenever i travel i am definitely going to take such uh, videos which has got nature especially because being a wildlifer and my channel name wildlifer satish i always wanted to show you guys this beautiful nature so last time in my last video i have shown you tamini ghat which is on western ghats uh, traveling from pune around 90 kilometers or so but this time i am showing the video of a other side of maharashtra this is also maharashtra which comes under the kolapur district and uh, I uh, let me see what is all around. I just passed through some ghat sections and I have stopped here for this beautiful backwater location. And let me see, there are. Uh, I got to know from the local guide that there is a beautiful dam also there. But uh, but let me see if they have a possibility because of the time constraint. If I have a possibility, I will definitely go there. I'll stop by for some time, and I will take the nice uh, pictures and the videos as well. So let me see.